North Korean army units that are currently in Russia and preparing for combat operations are undergoing additional training. Defense Express was informed about its content by its own sources in the defense intelligence of Ukraine. We are talking about general military training. The North Korean soldiers are also taught Russian commands, conducts coordination, and familiarizes with Russian weapons and military equipment. Several conclusions can be drawn from this. First, the level of actual training of the North Korean military was recognized by Russian commanders as requiring basic training. Even though the North Korea has sent special forces troops, as reported by South Korean intelligence. Secondly, learning Russian commands and executing them according to Russian guidelines may mean plans to use these units together with Russian units and under Russian command. This represents an alternative to a scenario where DPRK troops would be organized into a conditional, expeditionary corps, allocated to a specific section of the front line, preserving their internal hierarchy and without resubordination. It should be added that South Korean intelligence has found that the first military personnel from the DPRK were transported to Russia on October 8. At the same time, they are expected to be at the front line by November 1. According to the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, the first area of their deployment is the Kursk region. That is, the entire course of additional training for the North Korean military in Russia can take up to three weeks. Sources in the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine also noted that it is only a transfer of manpower from the DPRK, without equipment and weapons. Thus, we are talking about a real trade-in, cannon fodder, that risks becoming systematic and solving one of Russia's problems, the lack of manpower. Russia and North Korea had a secret clause in their joint agreement, which involved North Korea sending a thousand soldiers to Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal informs. As reported by the media outlet, Russian President Vladimir Putin traveled to North Korea in June this year to work out the details of a military cooperation agreement. At that time, Pyongyang was allegedly ready to offer artillery shells in exchange for food and fuel. However, the agreement also included a secret clause allowing North Korea to send an initial wave of approximately 1,000 North Korean soldiers to Ukraine to learn firsthand how to conduct warfare from Russia's experience. According to the Wall Street Journal, most of these North Korean soldiers are currently stationed at a safe distance from the front lines. They are being shown how Russian forces handle logistics on the front and are being trained in warfare tactics, including the use of drones. More North Korean soldiers are expected to be sent to Ukraine later. Another source told the Wall Street Journal that Putin is interested in escalating the conflict on the Korean peninsula to divert Western attention. Specifically, North Korean troops could take on various roles, such as missile specialists, frontline soldiers, or even workers supporting logistics. In addition to promises of support and the transfer of military technology from Russia, Kim Jong-un's regime is expected to gain insights from direct observation of modern military tactics and the use of North Korean weapons in combat. Interceptions were seen over Tel Aviv on Wednesday night as the Israeli military said four rockets were identified crossing from Lebanon into central Israel. The army added in a statement that some of the rockets were intercepted and fallen projectiles were identified. Israel said that dozens of rockets were fired from Lebanon towards Israel on Wednesday. Earlier on Wednesday, air raid sirens echoed across Tel Aviv as United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken prepared to end a visit. Smoke, apparently from an intercepted projectile, could be seen in the sky above the hotel where Blinken was staying. Blinken urged Israel to use its recent tactical victories against Hamas to seek a war-ending deal and bring back dozens of hostages, before leaving Wednesday for Saudi Arabia as part of his 11th visit to the region since the start of the Israel-Hamas war.
Israel's military released footage on Tuesday said to show Hezbollah fighters firing at Israeli troops in Lebanon. Another video showed an explosion said to be targeting Hezbollah fighters who had barricaded themselves in the building that was destroyed. Troops could be seen operating in a village and apparently confiscating Hezbollah weapons. The latest videos come as Hezbollah launched a barrage of rockets into central Israel on Tuesday, setting off air raid sirens in the country's most populated areas, but causing no apparent damage or injuries. The Israeli military said projectiles were fired from Lebanon into Israel and said most were intercepted by Israel's missile defense system. One landed in an open area. The Israeli military said that at the same time about 15 projectiles were fired from Lebanon into northern Israel. The rocket fire came as Israel stepped up its strikes in Lebanon, targeting a Hezbollah run financial institution, and as Israeli troops push ahead in their invasion of southern Lebanon.